Show. Sirius Real Estate listed on the JSE's Altex this morning. Company CEO Andrew Coombs now with me, having come up from the foyer downstairs where all the excitement was happening. Andrew, before we talk about the listing itself, just tell us about Sirius, where this company comes from, the scale of the company and so on. Absolutely. Well, Sirius specializes in German real estate. We own and manage 30 business parks consisting of over 300 buildings across Germany. In terms of um, scale, we have net lettable space of um, over a million square meters, accommodating over 2,000 tenants, with over 15,000 people visiting our parks on a daily basis. Less than 18 months ago, the market cap of Sirius was less than a billion rand. Today, I sit here today with a market cap of over three and a half billion rand. So, what made that big jump in that time period? Well, lots of things, including um, interest from the South African market. For the last 18 months, whilst Sirius has been listed on the UK Stock Exchange, we've been coming to South Africa and talking to existing and potential um, shareholders in Sirius. And certainly part of the journey in terms of um, enlarging the, the market cap has been as a result of interest from South African investors. Okay, and, and why Germany? Uh, was there at, at some point someone said, let's get into Germany, or was it a company that started there and then grew organically? How did it work? Well, it's a company that started in Germany, mm. and what we specialize in doing is buying former industrial estates. Mm. And of course, there are lots and lots of those in Germany because Germany used to be and still is to a certain extent a powerhouse in terms of manufacturing. Mm. However, one of the interesting things is that those kind of properties in Germany can be bought at about half of the replacement or new build costs, mm. which means that real estate of this type in Germany is highly discounted. And when Sirius is able to, um, to effectively acquire those properties and change their use, there are some very interesting returns for shareholders. Is there consciousness awareness of Sirius in South Africa prior to this listing, or are you really starting with a blank slate in terms of South African investor awareness? Well, I'm pleased to tell you that uh, two weeks ago we completed um, a roadshow in South Africa. It's the fourth roadshow that we've conducted in the last two years. And certainly we'd like to think that we have a following in South Africa and that this new listing will help to expand that following and increase the liquidity of, uh, of the Sirius shares. So why the, well obviously that uh, will increase liquidity. What sort of scale of listing are you expecting? The price and uh, what you're expecting down the line from this? Well, um, I don't want to say too much about price because obviously the market will, uh, mm. will determine that. But liquidity is absolutely key. And I'm pleased to tell you that um, in the 560 million euro rand placement that we were successful in concluding last year, we recruited over a thousand new private individuals who now participate in the, in the Sirius share. So we believe that's very exciting going forward. And I'm delighted to see not just institutions, but also individuals within South Africa participating in the serious journey. It's a particular niche, as you've described, this German uh, operation, only German, former industrial parks and that kind of thing. Who are your competitors uh, for investment money uh, and indeed uh, in, the, in that sector? Well, in terms of competitors, there are other listed companies such as um, Hanstein and Seagrove, both of whom operate um, in Germany and across Europe. But the thing that's unique about Sirius is Sirius is purely focused on Germany. We're a German specialist. We're a Euro-denominated stock, so um, in terms of our, our dividend and our forward yield, we offer investors in South Africa the opportunity to hedge against the RAND. And of course that, as we all know, is quite attractive at the moment. Institutional interest from the big funds? Yes, some institutional in interest, um, but as I say, the majority has come from more sort of boutique investment houses and sitting behind that um, are a number of different um, private individuals, mm. which again we think is key for the liquidity going forward. What about the listing process? I mean, you, as you say, you're listed in the UK, so you, you, you know what it's like to be a listed company. How has it been, the process here with the JSE? Well, we've been delighted with it. Um, this was possible because of the new legislation that was introduced in September. We are, I believe, the first fast-track listing on the JSE. We uh, were particularly fortunate to have a very good sponsor in the form of PSG. Um, and, of course, we are the first people with PSG's guidance and JSE's help who are using this new legislation. We've well, been delighted with the speed of it. Just to remind us, I mean, I remember we announced the legislation. We said it was happening. I've forgotten what it means. So uh, what is the effect of it, and, and why have you been able to take such advantage? Well, the effect is that if you are a company that's listed on one of four exchanges, London being one of it, mm. 
the, the JSC um, now allows you to move forward and list in a matter of weeks rather than a matter of months. Not only does this give you a lot more control and certainty, it also substantially reduces the costs of listing and it has been a particularly efficient process in our experience. Well, a lot of companies say that and they want to make it as easy as possible uh, to list. The regulatory environment generally, the governance, the transparency and all that, uh, South African companies like to think they're among the best here. Uh, what's your sense of uh, those requirements and the way they're implemented and watched compared to Britain? Well, I think the standard here is very, very high. I think the standard in Britain is high. Um, I think the standard here is equally as high. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we have been um, very, very pleased to um, see that because that's a very, very important issue um, to Sirius and very, very important to some of the institutional shareholders um, mm -hmm. in London who are invested in Sirius. So I would say that it's been at least as good as the, uh, the London government. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, just finally, the Germany uh, focus, is that a principle or could you say, well, there are other countries we could go into one day, South Africa? We pride ourselves on German specialisation. Mm. That's what we're good at, that's what we know, that's what we're bringing to market. Certainly in the next three to five years, our focus is in Germany. We don't want to be distracted, we want to keep doing what we're good at doing and we want to increase the returns that we're bringing to shareholders. Well, couldn't be clearer than that. Thanks to Andrew Coombs, he's CEO of Sirius Real Estate, listing on the JSE Altex today.